This video is powered by As Always Entertainment. If you enjoy this content, consider becoming a patron over on patreon.com forward slash as always for access to the Patreon exclusive podcast, The Kill Connor Clubhouse, early access to the Cinema Room podcast, being a part of polls for future videos, and other early access material. With that said, please enjoy the video. We are less than a week away from the longly anticipated Kingdom Hearts 3, and I felt compelled to make a video about this. A video discussing my love for Kingdom Hearts, my story of finding the franchise, and how much Kingdom Hearts 3 and its release means to me as a person and a gamer. First off, if you haven't ever played Kingdom Hearts before, there may be some spoilers in this video. Plus, I also highly recommend you play all of the collections right now, then pre-order yourself Kingdom Hearts 3. I'd also like to thank our Patreon producers for powering this video, that is King Richard III and Josh Devlier. Thanks guys. Anyway, I thought this would be a fun video for this week to get myself and some of the community a little more hype for the game's impending release, and I'd also love to see anyone else in the community make their own video talking about their Kingdom Hearts story and what 3 means to them. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. To start off, let's go back to the beginning, to the first time I'd ever heard of Kingdom Hearts. I honestly couldn't remember how or where I saw this, but back in 2002, my brother and I saw an ad for a game with Disney characters and this young boy holding some key. I was 7 at the time and all I remember is being absolutely enthralled by the trailer. So that Christmas, my brother and I got ourselves a PlayStation 2. We were given two games with it, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets and Kingdom Hearts. Pretty much from that moment on, every Saturday and Sunday morning, my brother and I would get up at 5am, watch cartoons and play Kingdom Hearts. Back then I certainly wasn't as good as playing games as I thought I was, and we used to get stuck on Kingdom Hearts bosses for weeks at a time, give up playing it for a bit and then come back when we had the patience to go at it again. I remember a lot of tears playing this game as well. Kingdom Hearts was that game that a lot of my friends had, but none of us had ever finished. Except there was always like that one kid at school you'd hear about that actually managed to finish Kingdom Hearts. It was like a goddamn folk story for us. I think from memory it wasn't until early 2004, the one Saturday morning like any other, my brother and I got up, I loaded Kingdom Hearts and I took on Ansem's Seeker of Darkness for the hundredth time. But on this day, for whatever reason, I beat him. I finished Kingdom Hearts and my brother and I just watched the ending in awe. From all those years playing, from those memories I have, I'd say Kingdom Hearts 1 is the single most important game to me. Now fast forward to 2006, and Kingdom Hearts was still a game my brother and I would replay all the time. Our favourite game. We weren't on YouTube then, looking up trailers or following gaming news, so we had no clue if there ever was, or ever would be, a Kingdom Hearts 2. I remember walking into an EB game store with my dad and my brother, and we both saw a massive Kingdom Hearts 2 display, and both just lost our shit. We started begging our dad to buy it for us, pleading with him. Now my parents are awesome, but they didn't often fork out money to buy games for us. In fact, they both hated us playing games. But this time my dad said yes, walked up to the counter, and the EB Games employee told us it doesn't come out until next month. So we're pretty disappointed, but it ended up actually coming out on my 11th birthday here in Australia. And Kingdom Hearts 2 lived up to the esteem we held the first game in. Just an absolute joy of a game to play being Sora again, going on adventures with Donald, Goofy, new and old Disney friends, Kingdom Hearts maintained itself as my favourite game series. But it was after 2 that I kind of fell off as a fan for a period. By 2010, I was just waiting for Kingdom Hearts 3, thinking when the hell are they going to announce this game? Instead, Square Enix announced in 2010 a PlayStation portable game called Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, the release that year. I didn't have a PlayStation portable, and I just kind of fluffed it off as a waste of a game, as all I wanted was Kingdom Hearts 3. My brother stayed obsessed with Kingdom Hearts however, following the release of Birth by Sleep, 358 over 2 days, and all the extra handheld side Kingdom Hearts games that followed. It wasn't until 2012 that my brother convinced me to get back into the universe of Kingdom Hearts. He bought a Nintendo 3DS and the newly released Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. The game had Sora and Rika as the main characters again, so I was in. By this point, my brother and I had only an Xbox 360 as a gaming console. Therefore, there was no other way to play the old Kingdom Hearts games, no 1.5 or 2.5 collection for us. So it was easy for me to kind of forget about the franchise and just chalk it up to that game series I loved as a kid and just wait until whenever, if ever, Kingdom Hearts 3 came out. 
After finishing Dream Drop Distance, it was clear from the ending that the next game the series had planned was Kingdom Hearts 3, at least in a story sense for Sora. And in 2013, at E3's Square Enix press conference, they released the first ever trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3, and announced it was in development. I was back. It was finally happening. Well, sort of. After two years of in-development trailers, I'd grown a little impatient once again. Not in a frustrated way, in a caring way. I'd waited nine years at this point, so I was just kind of used to waiting and was indifferent about the game releasing at all, thinking it's just never gonna happen. By this point, in 2015, I'm 20 years of age, and I'm making YouTube videos. I'm doing an E3 preview podcast with James and Luke, and I bring up Kingdom Hearts 3 and how excited I am to see what Square Enix is gonna show of it. The yeah. one I want to talk about is probably you guys don't give a shit about. Kingdom Hearts 3. Okay, so... No, see, I've never played that, that's but my everyone's always like, it's amazing. of all time, if you really want to say it, other than Halo. Kingdom Hearts is the best game series I've ever fucking played. What's so good about it? Like, um, what is that? Um, that's so it's hard to explain. You probably will never, ever understand it. James had no idea what I was talking about, and I was trying to like, convince him how good it was, and explaining how you're a guy, and your best friend is bloody Donald and Goofy, and Disney characters and shit, and it, it wasn't going over quite as well. But over the months that followed that podcast, I convinced James to buy the collections and play all the games. He not only played them all, but he loved them all. In turn, he showed George, and our community became enthralled in Kingdom Hearts with discussions and streams and podcasts and videos. It felt like everyone was getting into it, which was amazing. A highlight during that time for me personally was in 2017, when both Kingdom Hearts 2.8 collection and the Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5 collections released on PS4. Finally. Finally, I had the franchise back in my life and playable. I could jump back into my favourite game series of all time. Playing Kingdom Hearts 1 for the first time on the PlayStation 4 was so special. It brought back so many memories and so much joy. To not only be able to play these games that mean so much to me, but also fill in those gaps over the 11 years that I hadn't been playing it, like Birth by Sleep, Chain of Memories, 358 over 2 days, to complete the story and fill in every detail for myself was just incredible. I had never been more excited for Kingdom Hearts 3 and into this franchise. That excitement has not dwindled. It has been 12, almost 13 years since the release of Kingdom Hearts 2. During that time, the franchise went from my favourite ever to becoming a fan from a distance for a while and everything in between that. Then in the final lead up to 3's release, I completed what I had missed, filled in the gaps and brought this franchise into my online community, so much so that it has so many of us absolutely amped up for it. To share this franchise not just with my brother growing up and now as grown men, but as well to share it with James and the entire community is just so special to me. We are less than a week away from the release of Kingdom Hearts 3, and there is no game that has ever been more important to me. No game that has brought me so much joy already and it hasn't been released yet. This long, long, long wait has turned out to be one of the best things that could have happened. Instead of it coming out a couple years after 2 and playing it on my own, I now have a whole community to share it with. I got to experience this franchise again in a different way, playing it sporadically as a child to being able to connect the dots as an adult. Kingdom Hearts 3 is a game I really want to just stop and smell the roses with. Not rush through it, but enjoy the experience the way a fan like myself deserves. It's time to now just sit back, enjoy this moment, enjoy the week leading up to its release, and enjoy playing it for the first time, this moment I've been waiting for, for my favourite gaming franchise of all time to release its final chapter. Thanks everyone for watching this video, I greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Once again, thank you to our Patreon producers, Josh Devlier and King Richard III for supporting my channel, this video, and as always. And as well, I'd love once again to see any community member out there make a video themselves like this of why Kingdom Hearts 3 is so special to you, what it means to you, what's your Kingdom Hearts story. So once again, guys, thanks again. I'll see you next time.